that's not happening. <laughs> Hey guys, um, back for day six of framing. Um, if you've watched up to this point, uh, you've probably noticed it's been a little sporadic with the weather and everything like that. And um, yesterday was not any different. We lost a day yesterday. We had 40 mile an hour winds um, yesterday in Oklahoma, and that literally lasted. Uh, all day. Today was windy too, but we couldn't take another day off, so um, we got out here for day six of actual framing. Um, it's more like day five because we had one day of rain. Actually, maybe it's more like day four and a half because we had another day on day four that just sucked real bad and horrible production. And But we've already been through that. We're moving past that, so Day six, just got out here, was out here earlier today, but it was way too windy to do anything. Quite frankly, it's pretty cold as well. Um, and I was in a hurry, so I did not uh, say hey to you guys uh, this morning. So I made sure to get out here. It's almost six o'clock. Um, instead of going home, I came out here to check everything out, see where they finished up today. And uh, excited to show it to you because we uh, have reached the second floor. So stay with me and I'm gonna go up top and show you what happened today. Okay, so I'm gonna take you in a way we haven't gone yet. I'm gonna take you in the side door. Um, one thing you'll notice as we're going in, they came out uh, three days ago, I believe, and I didn't say anything then, but uh, showing it to you now. This is where they cut off the post tension cables. Uh, we talked all about how that system worked, but Basically, they come out and they hook a machine right up flush with the wall, the concrete wall there, and it grabs a hold of this cable and pulls it tight and then cuts off the excess cable that would stick out past the slab. So they've done that all the way down on this south side, and I believe it's on the west side is the other side. The north side and the east side are the anchor points. So enough about that. This is the door coming in from the side. We'll be using this door a lot uh, as that'll take us out to our garden and orchard area. That's the garden and orchard area where you saw us trying to lay that out over last weekend and uh, with my parents and all that fiasco. So we're walking from the warehouse into the stall area where everything was happening earlier this morning and everything happened today so um as you can see we now have are shaded it's quite a bit darker in here and the reason for that is oh, and there's even a little echo 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 hello um we have subfloor on so our Advantech subfloor, that stuff is awesome. I use it on all my houses. Uh, don't cheap out on subfloor. You'll pay the price for it, especially if it's open to uh, any elements or anything like that for an extended period of time. So I think uh, we're gonna try to squeeze our big butt up through that hole. So uh, bear with me as I climb up the makeshift ladder hopefully it holds my big butt and uh, we'll show you what we got going on up there i actually am pretty excited to go up there um, we are gonna have a pretty killer view i think out of this loft area and uh, i'm excited to see what uh, the property is going to look like back to the west um, which is that way over the tree line but what's even better is the lake is right behind me right where's my finger right there 
is the lake and uh, I think we're gonna be able to see it from the loft and it's gonna be pretty cool so I'm uh, gonna try to get up there without dying and show you that That's not happening. <laughs> there is uh, the last step to this thing is roughly about, I would say my waist is right at the last step to the homemade ladder out of one by fours, which means that, uh, there's about a four foot drop, eh, three and a half feet drop to the first step, which is a one by four that is already split. So I'm not thinking about getting up here. I'm thinking about getting down. Um, I think we're going to wait <laughs> and show you what all has happened from an eye level tomorrow whenever we have a ladder that is safe i'm the only one up here and where i'm talking to you at right now is 12 feet plus 14 inches plus the height of the camera my head is at about 14 feet in the air right now and i don't feel like hitting the pavement from 14 feet in the air um, my dad's laughing at this probably because he's kind of a monkey and he would just jump up here. I'm not, and I'm not going to just do that. So we will probably just show you around real quick what they've got done here. All the walls are ready to be stood up. They just didn't stand them up because we uh, had to figure out some window stuff today. And, uh, but first thing in the morning, I'm sure all these will be stood up. I'm going to show you what's going on right now, and, uh, and then I'm getting down. And we will come up here tomorrow when there's somebody else here and it's safe. So, hang on. Okay, so as you can see, um, they have built all the walls for this thing. Well, the main walls, the long walls and they're laying down right now. That right there is a window opening. This right here is a window opening. Um, there is gonna be nine windows in this upper portion to let light in. Um, also for the view, I don't know how much the sun blocks you out there, how much you could see or not, but uh, basically the subfloor is down. It is solid, that is not the problem. The problem is the ladder. And I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why I think it's just best if we call this a loss and we come back tomorrow. So I showed you today, stand by for framing day seven. I'm going down the ladder and I would just like to show you some reasons why my big butt doesn't think it's just the greatest idea that I go up there this way. So these are just one by fours and they're already splitting. And I'm pretty sure one that's just toenailed from the backside. So yeah. 
the next step down. Split one by four all the way through. Not good for this big guy. And the, the most deciding factor of all, stay tuned, stay with me, is right here. That one already broke. Then they put a two by four on. Huh. Genius. So that's it. I'm a sissy. Day six. That's a wrap. See you up here tomorrow for day seven. Hopefully. Let me, let me, I promise I'm serious. Okay. See you next time up on the ridge. There you go. Yeah.